Another very common Model A question that is frequently discussed is whether or not a particular Model A is an AR. We can go ahead and answer that question for you right now. No, it is not an AR. Let's look at some of the common items that people typically associate with a vehicle that they consider to be an AR. There's the powerhouse generator, which was used through July of 1929, which is roughly 2 million Model A's. There's the so-called red steering wheel, like this one. The red steering wheel was used through February of 1929, which is roughly 1 million Model A's. People are quick to point out cars with the multiple disc clutch are considered early, but that clutch was used through November of 1928. That's roughly 600,000 Model A's. Cars with the square starter switch, used through October of 1928. That's half a million Model A's. Maybe the most common feature that people identify as making a car an AR is the left-hand emergency brake handle. But that was used through June of 1928, which is roughly 225,000 cars. Finally, people like to point out the open-end bumpers that were only on the very first 200 cars produced. That doesn't even make a car an AR. Sure, all of these features indicate a car built relatively early in the production cycle of the Model A when you consider they built 5 million of them through 1932, but the term AR doesn't really do anyone any favors. Okay, so what is an AR if it's none of those things? Today, when someone uses the term AR, most people familiar with Model A's will tell you it refers to an early production Model A Ford. But it's an ambiguous term that is typically user-defined and can mean different things to different people. And that's the problem with using it as a descriptor on a car. Every hobby has its own subcultures, and the Model A has dozens and dozens of them. One example is those people who are very into the earliest Model A's. Why are these cars so special? Well, because in the early days of the Model A, parts were changing month to month and sometimes even day to day. As Ford engineers worked out better designs and production figured out better manufacturing methods, parts were changed frequently. These unique changes are of interest to people who care about these tiny details as they track the evolution of the Model A from prototype to the 5 million vehicles built over the next few years. It was these hobbyists who focused on the earliest Model A's who coined the term AR back in the 1960s in an effort to draw attention to the unique features of these cars. The nickname stuck, but the problem was they left the term open-ended and the term started being applied to more and more cars. To be more specific when referring to a production time for these early Model A's, the generally accepted terminology is very early 28 for cars built in 1927, and early 28 for cars built in January, February, March, and April of 1928. Many of the features that are present on very early 28 cars are not present on early 28 cars, and certainly are not present on cars produced up into 1929. So while the terms early 28 or very early 28 can be open-ended for some, they provide more clearly defined start and end points for everyone. So what exactly does AR mean and where did it originate from? It goes back to the numbering system that Ford used for identifying and cataloging Model A parts. Ford used a numbering system that was relatively intuitive and assisted in helping to keep every aspect of Ford part organization kept in sync from production, assembly, to service. This numbering system is still in use today by Ford, and Model A parts suppliers have to pay a licensing fee to Ford in order to use original part numbers in the marketing and cataloging of their inventory. The letters AR were a suffix added to a part number when different versions of the same part needed to be kept around for service. When a part was created and put into production, it was given a unique number. Parts that made up a component were grouped with similar numbers. 
Take, for example, the gear shift housing. It was designated part number A7222. All parts that started with the 7200 number were part of the gear shift. It could be the lever, the forks, even the gasket was a 7200 number. The first gear shift housing was used for vehicles that had the emergency brake handle on the left frame rail and was given the number A7222. When the next iteration of the gear shift housing was put in production, this was the one with the emergency brake handle mounted to the front of the housing, Ford needed to differentiate between the two parts. So the old left-hand brake housing was given the part number 7222-AR, and the brake to front housing was given the number 7222-B. Furthermore, when the emergency brake was relocated to the side of the gear shift housing, it was designated 7222-C. Now, I know people are going to write this in the comments, so let's talk about it right now. There are those that are going to say because the left-hand brake gear shift housing carries an AR part designation, that must mean that any car with the left-hand brake should be called an AR. So then, let's look at part A1405, the wheel carrier support, or the side mount arm. The first version used on 2829 Model A's was given the number A1405. When the new style came out in 1930, the 2829 style was renumbered to A1405AR, and the new 3031 style became A1405B. So, just because a part number carries an AR designation, does not mean it refers to an early Model A. If someone believes the argument that any car with a part that has an AR suffix could be considered an AR, it would mean every single 28 or 29 could be an AR. It should also be noted that the AR suffix was utilized on AA parts when different versions of the same part needed to be kept around for service. So, while Ford never used the term AR to describe a Model A as a whole, it is a common term today to refer to these early cars. But what constitutes early is open to everyone's own interpretation. And just to clarify, there isn't a problem with using AR in the vernacular of the Model A hobby, but realize that it means different things to different people and it can cause confusion. Why do people so passionately argue against the term AR? I don't know. They just do. But there's some people who attribute greater value to a Model A if it's described as an AR, which isn't necessarily the case. While some extremely early vehicles, and we're talking three digit or less serial number cars, are considered to be more valuable than the later production cars, that doesn't hold true for all early feature Model A's. In fact, some people feel vehicles with these early parts and systems are less valuable due to a perceived lack of adequate replacement parts or a concern that systems were upgraded in the name of safety and thus the earlier components are less safe. It's up to the user to figure out what does it mean to them. And yes, referring to a Model A as an AR will tell someone familiar with the hobby that it's an early production car. But how far into production that goes is up to the individual to decide. So use it whenever you want but don't be upset if people are confused or argue with you about what it really means. Whether you call it an AR or an early 28 or you just call it a Model A, be happy there's so much enthusiasm and passion for these old Fords. What does the term AR mean to you in a Model A Ford sense? Leave a comment and let us know.